Hey everybody, gonna wait for some folks to come in here. Give you a nice view of the press site here. What a beautiful day at the Kennedy Space Center. There is the vehicle assembly building. There is the clock and the flag. Let's see if any of you join the live stream and I'll tell you what's going on, hopefully. I found a place to shield me from the wind this time, so that should hopefully make this stream a little bit better. Hey Frosty, welcome to the live stream. This will be a quick one today, everybody, because I am uh, just going to give you an update. There's a good feeling of optimism here at the press center today, so that is good. And I'll show you, maybe I'll frame up the uh, vehicle assembly building there. So I found a spot that is uh, devoid of wind. Uh, so hopefully this will sound better than yesterday's stream did. So today um, we are back at the Kennedy Space Center. This has been a very expensive trip, um, but it's a lot of fun. It's close to 90 out right now. It's about in the, in the 80s, um, beautiful sunny day. So we're hoping weather will be a go. The one thing that we haven't um, heard yet is the upper level winds. That's what knocked us out yesterday. Um, but today just feels better and uh, I've gotten to know over the years some of the folks who cover space events here at the Space Center and they are really fired up. They, they said to me today, this feels like launch day. Um, so hopefully that is the case. So I thought I would do today is um, show you what I hope to have in my video later today if this thing launches. Um, so let me switch the camera. And what we've got over here is the uh, clock and the flag that I talked about yesterday. And I'm going to zoom in just so you can get a feel for, I'm sorry for the shakiness here, uh, for a feel for what I see with my eyes. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and give you an idea as to what I see. So that's the rocket over there. It's three miles away, but it really feels a lot closer than that. So we're going to get a lot of sound here um, because what will happen is, is that rocket's going to make a ton of noise when it boosts off the pad. Uh, and that noise will also bounce off the vehicle assembly building over here. And then what's going to happen, and some of the, I'm going to step out to the wind here for a second, everybody. Uh, so what's going to happen is it's going to launch out and it's going to arch over the water away from us. Um, but then what will happen is, is that the two boosters are going to come back down uh, about over here or so. So we're not going to see them land all the way, but we should see them coming flying down. Let me get back away from the wind here. We'll see them come flying down and we'll see that last boost turn on to slow them down to land. So that's something we should see. And with that, we're gonna hear uh, four sonic booms, one from the top of each of those two boosters as they come down and, two from, and one each from the bottom as well. So we're gonna get some great sound. We've got a couple of different things we're recording sound-wise uh, today. So hopefully it'll give you a feel uh, for what it's like. When I was here for uh, the last launch of the space shuttle, I took my zoom recorder and I just put it on the ground uh, and recorded and that video is up. You can actually put some headphones on, put it in HD and listen to it. It sounds great. Um, so we're going to hopefully replicate uh, all the sounds that you hear around the press site here. Um, so for this launch, we're going to do it from the press site just because this is the closest you can get to the rocket. Again, about three miles. Um, there's a bunch of folks here from the press who are going to go out to the NASA causeway, which is further away. Um, but it's a little closer to the landing zone, so you have a better view of the rockets coming back down. So the next Falcon Heavy will come back and go do that, I think. This, this becomes a real fun thing to do. I'm trying to find some ways to make this uh, kind of content sustainable <laughs> because uh, this trip was rather costly just in the sense that we've had a couple of cancellations and uh, last night's um, postponement because of the winds. So hopefully uh, today is the day that this will happen. Um, now, I haven't talked much about the Falcon Heavy rockets. Let me switch my perspective here again. You can see it out on the pad. Uh, my phone is uh, going into its uh, dim display mode here. So there is the Falcon Heavy. Um, the Falcon Heavy, uh, the best way to think of it, is three of the SpaceX Falcon rockets strapped together. There's a total of 27 engines on it, and they have to light them up uh, in, in, in kind of in sequence. So they don't all light at the same time because the thing would fall apart. Uh, so you're going to see a lot of smoke coming off of that pad uh, because they turn on the engines pretty early in the countdown. I think around uh, when we get to like six or five, um, those engines will be coming up. 
and it'll uh, be something to see. And, and it, I'll tell you what, having seen these now, this is my, this will be my fifth launch that I've seen in person. I saw the last three space shuttles go, and I saw a SpaceX rocket go as well. Every time it scares the you know what out of you because it is a, it's kind of like one of these things like people actually do this. This is human created, but it's frightening to watch because these are controlled explosions. It's something to see and hear. And the scale of these things is remarkable. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in the video um, that I'll be posting uh, hopefully tonight if this launches. Here's the thing, if it doesn't launch tonight, I have to go home tomorrow. So um, what we might do is uh, give you a little information about what I saw out here in a video and then I'll do a live stream or something to uh, watch the, uh, the launch remotely. But right now the weather everyone is pretty confident about. Um, we're waiting on you know all the other things that they have to uh, let us know about. But the countdown clock right now is at uh, two hours and 16 minutes. I will not be streaming that live. Um, again, I'm gonna do some recorded stuff, but there will be live streams. Of course, SpaceX has one. Uh, and there's also uh, somebody on Twitch you might want to follow um, who uh, does a great job live streaming these things. He's got a, a um, you know, multi-cellular uh, connection thing that he's gonna be working with from uh, the press site there. I think he's called Kerbal. Um, he does a, a, a Twitch streaming on Kerbal. You know what I'll do is I will, uh, when they're done, they're streaming right now, so I don't want to disturb them, but when they're done, I will find out um, what their stream is and uh, direct you guys over there because they do a great job with that. Uh, too Much Sauce is in. Hello. Mark uh, Rousey saw a space shuttle launch at night. Yeah, so we almost had a night launch last night. I think SpaceX is aiming for the opening of the window, which is at 635. Um, so that means they will soon be uh, getting that uh, rocket fueled up and they start fueling these rockets a little bit later than they did the uh, space shuttles and some of the other rockets that are uh, going up so we should hopefully see that fuel going in soon you'll soon see um, on some of the streams if you're gonna be watching uh, you'll see some venting coming off the rocket when they do that so it'll be really cool if this thing launches tonight because again I got to get home tomorrow and this happens sometimes in fact I've come down here before I wanted to come down for the first um, SpaceX, uh, SpaceX launch to the space station. And this was a killer one. We flew in, uh, the launch was at, I think it was at three or four o'clock in the morning. So we got in like around 8 p.m. and we didn't go to sleep or anything. We went to the Waffle House, which is a great thing to visit when you're in Florida. Uh, because we're open 24 hours and the food's decent. We went to the Waffle House, we got in the car, we came out here and what killed me is that they lit the engines up and then they stopped it and that was it. So we had to go home with nothing, but we did hear uh, the rocket go briefly. So uh, let's see, Danny is wondering where I'm at right now. I'm in Florida at the moment. Uh, so I flew down here. A lot of the people that, that cover the space program here uh, are people who live in Florida and can get back and forth pretty easily. So I have access to a car and a house um, but I have to drive two hours back and forth. So usually what I do is stay at a hotel um, and use that car and drive up. Uh, it has not launched yet. It's gonna launch between 6.35 and 8.35, but we're hoping that it's on the uh, 6.35 uh, launch time there. Uh, down there by the flag is my friend Chris Gephardt. He writes for nasaspaceflight.com. He's doing a live stream right now as well. Great website if you're getting into space. Definitely check out what he does because they do some Sorry about that, everybody. We had a phone overheat. <laughs> so I was out in the uh, sun and the phone just overheated. So that was it. I lost the whole stream there. Uh, so it wasn't a carrier problem this time. It was the heat that overheated my iPhone and that was the end of it. So we are back here. Um, I'll see if I can get you a nice little shot of the new site. This is the NASA Press Center. It's a press center. It's a little bit cooler where I'm standing. I'm not in direct sunlight, so it should be a little bit better, but I don't have much of a view here. Let me see if I can get you guys and gals a better view. Yeah, I'm not gonna get much else over here. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna be out here for too much longer. Oh, sound, but no video. It'll come back in a second here. Um, yeah, we had an uh, iPhone overheat, so I have my phone out of the case right now. <laughs> Hopefully I don't drop it. Um, so we'll see now. <laughs> Hopefully I don't drop it. Um, so we'll see what happens. People are saying no picture. Let's see if I can get a to you all. I'm gonna probably uh, wrap the stream up here anyhow, because I've told you everything I wanted to tell you. Do everything I wanted to tell you. Let's give you a little briefing on what's gonna happen here in a few minutes. And uh, I don't know if the picture has come back yet. Yeah, no video. So uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, my phone is probably still overheating, so I'm gonna let the phone cool off. And uh, hopefully tonight I will have a video for